Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I'm bringing you guys another combo video. This time it's on my Zombie World deck. Um, so I mentioned in the last video, this is actually a pretty decent deck if, to go into a local, maybe at a regional level if you wanted to take it that far. Um, I actually like this deck. It's pretty fun. Uh, probably not my favorite deck, but again, it's still a fun deck nonetheless. I definitely enjoy this. Pl enjoy playing this every now and then. Uh, the deck I'll still be playing mostly is probably going to be just Trickstar for a while, but... Anyway, uh, like I did before, I'm just going to show you uh, two different test hands. Uh, one going first, one going second. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just to give you guys a general idea on how this deck plays, and just let y'all figure it out from there. Maybe y'all could do adjustments if y'all want to. It's entirely up to you. So, let me real quick go and shuffle this deck up uh, really good, and I'll get started. So, this deck basically, uh, as the name suggests, it relies heavily on the field spell zombie world because it's just good at oppressing so many decks like thunder dragons can't go into colossus um salamander groups can play through it but it's kind of awkward for them because they have to literally uh uh they have it's just really hard for them to go into bailings but sunlight wolf and heat leo they can still make those just fine but again the, the, they can still play through it just fine it's just one of those tricky things you know and some of my cards were upside down apparently so all right that should be good now. All right. So let's see what our opening hand looks like. All right. Globe Bloom. Not bad. Instant Fusion. That's actually pretty good. Danger Mothman. Mizuki. And lastly, Monster Reborn. Okay. Actually, this is actually a pretty good hand overall. And there's quite a bit we can do with it. So if anything, I'd probably start with Instant Fusion. Go and summon out a... Uh, one of our fusion monsters, in this case, is going to be Sea Monster Thesis. Considering we're going first and Thousand Eyes Restricts best going second, uh, that's why I'm going with Sea Monster Theseus, just so I can link line. And if you don't have this, Flame Ghost is actually a good option. I do happen to own a copy of Flame Ghost. I didn't even know I actually had one until recently. But so we start off with him, and then from there, uh, you can pretty much go. You can normal summon Mizuki, and then with uh, this, I would go ahead and uh, just go ahead and link off for Vampire Sucker. All right, and before we continue on, any uh, let's go ahead and use either Monster Reborn or Mizuki, just because uh, we'll be able to trigger off Vampire Sucker's effect. Let's go Monster Reborn a little early, so let's bring back our Sea Monster Theseus. We'll bring him out here, and that'll trigger off uh, Sucker's effect. Only because I didn't want to use Mizuki's effect just yet, just in case you know if I happen to draw into something really good. So we got a free draw. Okay, that's Ash Blossom. That's actually really good so far. So now, pretty much use uh, Danger Mothman's ability. So we reveal Mothman to our opponent. We you know we um, shuffle our hand and just use do a card at random. So let me get a dice actually out here real quick. Actually, I got one right there. Okay, so this will be one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so three, four, and let's see what we discarded. Okay, that's perfect. It's Glow Bloom. So this goes. This hits the grave. And then its effect will trigger, we'll banish it. Oh, but actually no, but first we can't do that yet. We still have to special summon Mothman and then draw one card. So Mothman gets special summon, then we draw one card. That's actually really good still. And then we banish Globe Bloom. Sorry, I almost forgot about Mothman's uh, effect. Um, but since we don't have Zombie World out, we can't really special summon the monster we need to choose, that we choose, so we're gonna actually have to search one out instead. So let's go ahead and bring out uh, Vampire Furline to our hand. Because, you know, she's a free summon. Uh, she just gives our monsters just, you know, free power and all that good stuff. Kind of wish I had Necker World Banshee, but you know what? It is what it is. Alright. And since we still have Ash Blossom and Joy Spring in our hand, as well as Vampire Furling, we also have Swallow Slash, which we drew into, thanks to uh, Mothman. So, we could probably just set that down. And if you wanted to, you could pretty much just end your turn if you right away. I mean, because there's not really not much else we could do. And that's pretty much it. And your opponent goes first, you know, he does a search or tries to special summon from deck. You Ash Blossom, and if he summons a couple monsters, you just hit him with Swallow Slash, distribute Sea Monster Theseus, only because if we still have the Mizuki in our grace, we could bring it back next turn if we needed to. And of course, we have to banish one Shiranui monster with this. Uh, probably just go for Spirit Master, though, just because you banish another face-up card your opponent controls. So, pretty busted combo. And if we were to go, if we manage to keep our board as it is, draw our next card. Okay, Doom King, kind of a brick, but whatever. Uh, just use Mizuki's effect. 
Banish, Special, Sucker's Effect again. Draw one card, Super Polymerization, so actually really good right there. Uh, you could just go into your battle phase, attack, Farline with Special Summon herself, and then attack with Mothman, attack with Theseus, and if your opponent has enough points where you can just finish it off, just go Super Poly, discard Doom King, fuse these two, and go into uh, Dragon Necro, and just easy OTK. So that's pretty much it for the zombies. Well, going first at least. So let's go and see what we can do better on our... Hopefully we can do better on our going second hand. So, because we didn't see Zombie World, which was kind of disappointing, but we still managed to get a play going. So, and actually it's one of the reasons why I'm thinking about maybe bumping up Mothman to three. And again, if you don't like Mothman, Hand Destruction is also just as good. All right. So let's see what our hand looks like now. Okay, Danger Mothman again. S Swallow Slash zombie world now so thankfully we got that going instant fusion and vampire furling okay it's actually pretty promising so we're going second you know your opponent gets his board ready we draw our card okay mizuki so a lot of things we can go with so first things first activate your zombie world and just go and set your swallow slash because you don't want to accidentally discard that then activate your instant fusion uh, since we have zombie world already available to us you pretty much just go into thousand eyes restrict so, use Thousand Eyes Restrict, target one of your opponent's monsters, equip it to uh, Thousand Eyes Restrict. And, you know, your opponent just kind of lost some advantage on that. Uh, next, you can go ahead and uh, normal summon one of your monsters. If anything, you could probably normal summon Mizuki if you wanted to. That way you could just link off into Vampire Sucker once again. So, let's go and do that. We're going to go and normal summon Mizuki. And then link off uh, Thousand Eyes Restrict with... Mizuki together, go into Vampire Sucker, because everything's zombie right now, so that's why it's really good. Alright. Next, uh, Mothman's Effect. Reveal it, shuffle your hand, and of course we'll do the same thing like we did with the dice. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, it's a five, six, so, or, so Mothman gets discarded. And because he was discarded, both players could draw one card, but I have to discard one. Okay, I got Necro World Banshee. Uh, so I'm just going to go and discard her, because I'd rather have her in the graveyard. And I still got uh, Vampire for Online. So, and of course your opponent gets to draw and discard one too. So at this point, you can pretty much just go into Mizuki, Banish, uh, especially some Necro World Banshee, since, you know, she protects your zombie world. And Sucker's Effect will trigger off. Okay, Ghost Spell, that's not bad. So in case your opponent tries to revive any of their monsters, just, you know, you have this as backup. So you enter your battle phase, you attack with Sucker, special summon the Furrow line, pay your life points so she can uh, get stronger and, and beat over any monsters, and then you do the same for Necro World Banshee. So, uh, pretty standard uh, situation. And then you end your turn, you know, you got a f free form of disruption. Again, we probably just Spanish Spirit Master again, that we get three pops rather than just two with the Swallow Slash. So this is generally how this deck works. It's control, it's stun, and it's OTK. It's like it's like three different things all into one. So I guess you could say it's an aggression beatdown deck, really. That's really all this deck is. But yeah, that's the general concept of how Zombie World plays. You know, you just slowly overwhelm your opponent with a bunch of zombie monsters, disrupt them when you're able to, and just kind of like take away their card advantage. So yeah. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this, and I'll catch you guys again next time.